I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 10th of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua, and today we're out on Las Benitas. We are running a lot of errands today, but I do have a special announcement coming up, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until after the bump. Com cabelos cor de mel singela. Seu nome é Mabel. All right, we are out running errands today. We are on uh, in Las Panitas. There's always new construction. Everywhere I go, there's something new. But I have something exciting to announce. We have been needing more people on this show. We need to be out doing more stuff and going more places, trying more things. And it's really hard to do when I'm filming on my own. So I have a special guest star who's going to be here for the next month, and she is here to join us. You have seen her before. If you have not, if you don't remember who she is, you need to go back and watch our episodes from late 2021 around Christmas because Kemi is back. Hey, hello. In fact, I have to hand you the microphone because I'm oh. wearing it, so. Hello. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. We're actually going to, uh, we have a microphone system and we did not bring it today because we're running in a hurry out to the beach to deal with some stuff. And uh, so we're, we're kind of kind of experimenting with how we're going to be doing the show with two people, but we're excited to have her here. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of interesting content, like going to get food and traveling to La Paz Centro and things like that. So yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, we're going to be right back. We're here to look at some land and talk about some projects. So uh, it is a beautiful day, but oh my gosh, it is hot. Way too hot. We're just walking through the big parking lot in the middle of town, and this has always been like barrio housing, like really, uh, really poor housing in general. And you can kind of see it if I pan around. But this is a cute new, not large, but a cute new house being finished here uh, with a neat little garden out front. And it's right next to the water. So this is like a perfect spot that was kind of hidden. And uh, it's surprising that it's never been developed, but someone took a opportunity here. This had to be super cheap to acquire. And uh, what a great spot that you can be at Barca de Oro and on the estuary in like 30 seconds from your front door. Uh, what a nice space. And then it's got this big open space next to it. So there's lots of, uh, lots of quiet. You know, there's not gonna be anything there and access up to the upper road. It really is a good spot and I'm really surprised to find this house. So I was just excited and sharing that with you. All right, we're wrapping up on the beach. We had very little time here today. We had to run down and look at some property and look at some projects we have going on. Uh, and we're walking across town, picking up some food to go to the kids. And we are off to a house showing. We actually have quite a bit going on today, uh, just in general. But we're going to look at another house. We've been looking at a lot in the last week or so and a lot of projects going on with looking at houses. Now, not all of them I can show on the channel right away. Uh, so sometimes I show them like we did uh, just two days ago, uh, but this one today we won't be able to show for some time, but eventually you'll get to see them. We're kind of accumulating a backlog of houses that we'll be able to show. Some people asked about some of the ones we were at and they'll be coming. So we're looking forward to that, but we're doing that today. And then a cool additional project that I'm not ready to share with you guys yet. Uh, we're gonna go do that this evening. So we have just a lot going on here, uh, which is really cool. And uh, we're hoping with Kemi here on the show, we're gonna be ramping up um, are filming quite a bit. I'm so excited. I've been looking for someone who is willing to be on the show and like help out with stuff for a while. And uh, it's actually really hard to find someone who has the time and ability to travel and do all the stuff and be here in Nicaragua. So it's really cool that she is back and go check out her old episodes. I'll try to link them down below so you can see her doing gingerbread houses <laughs> at Christmas uh, 2021, believe it or not. And uh, we're gonna go explore the beach and Sutiava some today. All right, we're here with Kemi, and she was here in 2021, and you were a new traveler. So we're doing an interview, right? Because we don't have time to go anywhere, and we've got a lot of cool stuff that we wanna do. We wanna go see a bunch of places and travel around and take you guys on a bunch of adventures, and we're gonna do a bunch of stuff that we haven't been able to do on the show, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, but we wanted to take a little bit of time and introduce her so that you guys know who she is and what her story is and you know her kind of travel background and stuff um, and her Nicaragua background so you kind of have a picture uh, of what it is that we're doing and who she is. So you came to Nicaragua as your first country you ever traveled to. Exactly. I started in Nicaragua in 2021. I was just 20 years old <laughs> and I arrived in San Juan del Sur 
and that was the beginning of my trip. <laughs> and we first, so you first appear <laughs> on this channel in the background of an episode on Laguna de Apoyo. You're actually yeah. sitting in the background of an episode having a coffee, and that's before we knew you. Right. So you're captured on that, and we were filming, if you have seen, this is you, the audience, if you've seen uh, the This is Nicaragua episode, Laguna de Apoyo, that is, we were there filming that episode when we met, you were staying at the same uh, hostel that we were staying at. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we kind of, kind of connected when you were kind of stranded and needed rescued to yeah. go <laughs> trying to get back to San Juan del Sur. Exactly. So I was just there because I heard all the wonders about Laguna de Apoya, so I wanted to check it out by myself. And I had to rush to someone else's suit because my friend had lost her credit card and I had to go help her out. But I didn't have any way out. And so I started talking with Said, And he told me, just a moment, I'll go ask my friend if we can do something to help you. And then they really helped me. They saved me actually <laughs> by taking me in their car and helping me catching the bus. <laughs> yeah, you were like in the middle of no, like we're in the, the Pueblos Blancos. And so it was really like remote kind of. Yeah. Like it wasn't like in a city where you're like, wow, there's a bus and you just have to know how to get there. There are like no buses. Yeah, like was... I, I didn't have many options. <laughs> so that was really, that was really cool. <laughs> and we spent an amazing day too. We did. It was a lot of fun. And then we ended up connecting again in San Juan del Sur while you were still there. Yeah. Um, and then you came up here to León, to Las Penitas, actually. Well, you mm -hmm. came to both uh, and ended up spending Christmas with yeah. us 2021 yeah, out on the beach, which we have episodes about that. Um, and then I think the last time you appear in the video uh, is uh, New Year's 2021. You came and danced on that episode uh, at Via Via. Yeah. You popped in at Via <laughs> Via. So if you watch the the... December 31st, 2021 episode. She's there dancing in the background. Uh, but you left Nicaragua shortly after that. Yeah, just a couple of days after. And where did you go next? After that, I took the bus from Leon to San Jose in Costa Rica to catch a flight to go to Colombia, which I stayed for about four months. And uh, after that, I went to the Amazon where I took a boat to Peru. And then I ended my trip in Lima, in Peru. Okay, so you've been to a total of four countries now? Nicaragua. Yeah. Well, and now you've been to Guatemala. Yeah. And you traveled through El Salvador and Honduras to come back here. Yeah, and I've been to Europe this winter. Oh, that's right, you were in, in Portugal. I was in Portugal and I was in France, and I went to Madeira Island, um, and it was amazing too. And so, yeah, but I don't really count uh, Costa Rica since I only spent like a day in the capital to catch a flight. I didn't like explore it. So. Right. Did you spend a night? Yeah. That's the traveler's rule. If you spend the night, you were there. Oh yeah, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> or if you cross from border to border, that should also count. Yeah. Like I've twice crossed Serbia border to border, but I never spent a night in the country. So I count that. Okay. So I I've been to El Salvador and to Honduras as well. Honduras is a little bit rough because it's just cutting off the corner. Yeah. I mean, I was there <laughs> for like, what, three hours? Yeah. That's That one, maybe not. but. El Salvador, I'll give you. Um, <laughs> so, and you're from originally? I'm from Montreal in Canada. Well, Quebec. <laughs> so. so English is your second language. Yeah, you might hear it. <laughs> and Spanish is your third? Yeah, but my Spanish, you know, más o menos. But I'm working on it. Well, you're in the right place to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, now you're here. We have about a month is mm -hmm. the plan. Yeah. And we have time to do some exploring, so we're going to get out and we're going to try to go to... Uh, there's a lot of Nicaragua you haven't done. Um, yeah. You've been to Granada. Yeah. Okay. And so, and you've been to Ometepe, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but there's, uh, there's still some, like, famous Nicaragua that you haven't done. You've done very little in Managua. Yeah. And you have not been to, like, Somoto and up north. You haven't been to any of the highland cities. No. So they're just there. There's a whole bunch. Yeah. of exciting, interesting stuff. And no matter how much anyone's been in Nicaragua, and it's true anywhere, right? Like not a Nicaragua thing, but no matter how much you've been anywhere, there's a huge opportunity for the off the beaten path stuff. Little villages, small cities, places that people just never go, stopping along the roadside for food or shopping or whatever. Right, and that's what I'm most excited about. This time, that's really what I want to do, just go off the beaten path, like discovering more the country and the culture, the people. So I'm super excited for Well, we're coming. starting. Starting in the right place, because Sutiava yeah. itself is off the beaten path quite a bit. 
I've this never is, been here. Yeah, this is, this is kind of real living Nicaragua, like completely different than mm. I expect anything you've seen anywhere else. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm excited. I'm not sure where we're going next. We are going to Managua this week. Yeah. Yeah. So it's true. coming up in three days from the time where we're two days in the time we're recording this, uh -huh. we're going to yeah. go to Managua. We have a few episodes that are already recorded that I need to get out for you guys um, that are that are like already edited. So she won't be in those because uh, she wasn't here when I recorded them. Uh, but we're going to be heading out. We're not quite sure when we're going to be able to fit in our travels. It's always a bit hectic because of work with all the things that I'm I'm handling more stuff with Paul and Dominica gone. Uh, so sometimes I get caught for entire days and can't go anywhere or do anything. Uh, but we're definitely going to Managua this week because we have to for some of the shopping. And uh, we're starting to make some plans of places we want to go and strategizing on cool stuff we want to do, uh, including just heading up to Chinandega for food, for example. There's, yeah. there's some cool stuff that, that the kids want to do and we can go explore. So restaurants, street food, uh, we want to hit some of the major attractions. Like there's, there's some things we just need to do, right? Um, but also like maybe we'll hit the dinosaur park. Like, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to the dinosaur <laughs> yeah, park. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so that's a teaser. We're definitely doing the dinosaur park at some point. Watch for that. Uh, and we're going to be exploring and just doing a lot of off the beaten path Nicaragua. I'm, I can't tell you guys how excited I am. I've been looking for someone for a long time that's willing to go out and be on camera and go to off the beaten path places and speaks English, which is important. I've got some people that will do it, but they only speak Spanish. And so it's really difficult to do like commentary and and there's a certain amount of like exploring street food well it's just normal food if you grew up here but mm. for us it's like all new and exciting but i don't yeah. eat meat and you eat meat yeah so there's a lot of like hot dogs and hamburgers and street barbecue and stuff that that Excited you can do and... to be the tester yeah. really i love it <laughs> so we're going to be doing that that's going to be coming up not tomorrow tomorrow's already recorded but hopefully the day after we will have uh, some exciting new content. We will see you all there. Remember, if you want to support the channel, look up here. I'm going to put a link, buymeacoffee.com slash Scott L. Miller. That helps support everything that we do here. If you're looking for assistance in relocation, info at relocatenicaragua.com. We have all kinds of services. Just send an email and ask how, uh, whatever it is that you're looking for, let us know how we could potentially help. And uh, as always, share on social media, tell your friends, and I will see, as she will, all of you tomorrow. <laughs>